What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Man, y'all already know what to do. Smash that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. I appreciate you. Let's get into it, man. So we got ourselves a preview of the finals matchup, man. Dallas Maverick versus the Boston Celtics. Let's get to it, man. So we got ourselves the finals, and we got two of the best teams in the league with a star, or two dynamic duos on both ends. Luke and Kyrie versus Jason Tatum and, and uh, Jalen Brown. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna, hey, we gonna see who's gonna outdo the others. Uh, I say during the regular season, the uh, the the Celtics own, you know what I'm saying, own the Mavs. It was a 2 0 sweep of, of the season series of the regular season, I should say. Um, again, with that though, it, it was one of the things, man, where you had the Celtics healthy and then you have the Mavs that we had, you know, Kyrie dealing with certain type of injuries and things of that nature, but nonetheless. Uh, the Celtics handled business against the Mavs both times they, they played them this year. The only difference was in those games, they didn't have P.J. Washington. They didn't have uh, Daniel Gafford. Let me re let me repeat and say that again. In the two games, the Celtics won and they beat the, they beat the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks did not have P.J. Washington and they did not have Daniel Gafford. They will be a huge, huge difference maker when it comes to Games like scheming for this team, the approach and how they how they approach the game, the the element that PJ Washington brings as as a stretch big, somebody who can shoot the three, mid range, attack the rim, and plays defense. It's it's gonna be a lot. Daniel Gafford, a rim runner, a rim protector, rebounder as well, shot blocker. So again, whole different dynamic. Then you still got Lively, do the same thing Gafford can do. Um, so it's gonna be a battle with the others. Uh, how else to really put it, man? As an overall record, I didn't even want to look at it. Out of the 86 times that the Celtics and Mavs have played each other in NBA history, um, surprisingly, Celtics have a, a very slight lead over the Mavs. They, they, it's 46 and 40, so it's extremely close. It's extremely close. But again, no, those statistics, as far as that part, don't mean that much because we're talking about the finals. We're talking about here and now. We're talking about this year. We're talking about who's going to take home the chip. So the preview for this. It's going to, it's going to, no, I brought, I brought up the two matchups they had this season. Uh, and both of those matchups, man, Tatum and Brown, damn near averaged over 30 points. Again, it's something extremely close to look for, look at. Luka Doncic a averaged over 30. One game he had a 30 point triple double. The other game he just dropped them off for 30 something, 18 boards. Kyrie was the one where I think he had an injury going in one. So he had like 17. The other one he had like 20 something, almost 30. And then and then one of the other games, Porzingis, he chipped in offering 24 points. Again, Porzingis for the Celtics is the major, the major, uh, he's the de facto. He's a huge difference maker. He's kind of the wild card. If he's playing, the Mavs are going to have their hands full. But we all, a lot of people must have forgot. I can't say we all. Some people forgot. Porzingis played with the Mavs as well. He played with Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic is very familiar with Porzingis' game. So what does that mean? He he can understand what 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 Porzingis doesn't like, what he's uncomfortable with, his weaknesses and things of that nature, and vice versa. Porzingis can understand the same thing for Luca, but the only issue is Luca has shown that he has gotten better. That's the issue. He has gotten better. So one thing that people kind of you know ridiculed him on was his defense. What did he do? He started he started stepping up on the defensive end now, again. Filling the void, filling the gap on things that people said he couldn't do or he didn't have with him. So what is he doing? He's making those adjustments. Same thing people said about Kyrie. Either. What was the gripe on him or what was the one thing that people were saying about? All oh, his leadership skills. He doesn't play defense. He's a, you know what I'm saying, undersized guard on the defensive end. Things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? And, and ball sometimes gets stuck. He doesn't know how to play with other big, t big time stars. All oh, that has been null and void. He's, he's playing defense. Showing that, accepting and guarding bigger guards. And he's doing a great job <laughs> at guarding bigger guards. He's playing off the ball. He's doing catch and shoot. He's getting his teammates involved. He is leading by example versus leading by speaking. And where he is in a place mentally and physically right now, we're seeing a prime Kyrie Irving. We're seeing somebody that's extremely comfortable in his own skin. And he's giving out that very confident type of energy that's just oozing out. I was just saying, like, we, I've been here before. We we gonna enjoy this journey along the way together. That's what I'm seeing from him right now, and that's that's something that's extremely potent and a bit dangerous for a team where 
you got a Luka Doncic who single handedly slapped out the Timberwolves in a, in a pivotal game, in a pivotal game to wrap that series up. So he he know he got another dog that's right there with him. They got all the dog in the world, and then he got his team that's right there as well. That's not afraid of the moment. They are not gonna give in. They are not gonna collapse. Or none of that. So again, man, it's gonna be a hell of a hell of a finals. And the preview of it, like I said, they got the Celtics got Drew Holiday. They got Derek White. Both of these guys have the ability to go up and, and on both ends of the court and be extremely effective on the offensive end. They can anytime give you 15 plus a game. They can give you 15 plus at any point in the game. And they both lock in on the defensive end as well. So you got two guards that's gritty and gets after it. Al Horford, the old savvy vet, stretch big. Still can, still can, he still, he still has his wits about it, man. He still can do the right things, be in the right position, and make the right play. So this is gonna be a hell of a matchup. So lively, Gafford, y'all gonna have your hands full with with uh Porzingis and Al Horford, man. As far as Kyrie and Luca, y'all gonna have your hands filled with with uh, Tatum and Brown, Brown and vice versa. They gonna have their hands filled too. Derrick Jones Jr., PJ Washington, all these guys, man. Both of these teams have depth. Is I, I think it's gonna come down to a, a, a situation of which duo outduels the other, and which other comes along to help that that duo. As weird and as awkward as that may sound, that's how I think it's gonna play out. If Kyrie and Luca outplay. Tatum and Brown, and then you got P.J. Washington and Derrick Jones Jr. and Tim Hardaway stepping up and knocking down shots and playing great. It's going to be extremely tough for the Celtics to beat the Mavs because you're going to need Drew Holiday and you're going to need Derrick White to, to, to offset what the other Mavs players can do. Because outside of Derrick White, Drew Holiday, Tatum, Brown, let's just say Porzingis and Al Horford, Peyton Pritchard's not going to do much. They don't, they don't like when you go deeper into that bench, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. The Mavs, they, I feel like the Mavs, from a perspective of like, they have the more athletic group, they have more athletes on their side. So the, I feel like the Mavs are, are a little bit deeper and they're going to represent something a little bit different for a uh, different dynamic for the Celtics that the Celtics haven't dealt with as of yet. And vice versa. Celtics is going to represent something for the Mavs that they haven't had yet. You know what I mean? The, Ma the, uh, the Mavs had a had a young Timberwolves group and an Anthony Edwards who was all dog and had nobody he had. He was all dog and had cats with him. <laughs> Let me say that again. But he, he was all dog and had cats riding with him. That's it. That's it. Like, he, if he would have had another dog, like, with him, that, that series could have, you know, we could have saw something a little bit different, but he didn't. Unfortunately, he was he was out there one man showing it. You know what I'm saying? Like the, like the 80s Jordan, <laughs> where he was out there one man showing it, but getting swept in the first round. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to bring that up because we, we don't want the Jordan, fan, Jordan fans going crazy about that type of stuff. But either way, um, that's something that, again, you keep in mind. That's something that we did see. So I can't wait to see it. So this light preview is just, again, a quick window into – so a little bit of stuff, a little bit of critiquing of both teams and looking at the, the process of it, we covered it. So y'all keep an eye out for that prediction video. That joint's going to be coming hot and ready the day of. Hell, I might mess around and do an actual play-by-play uh, -play call uh, with that as well, man. So y'all just got to wait. Stay tuned. Keep that notification bell hot and ready. And, and, and we working, man. We working. We definitely get to it. So smash that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, man, I appreciate y'all coming through. And oh, yeah, Kyrie was talking that talking again from a standpoint of mentally strong, physically right, and uh, standing on all teams when he was saying he wasn't in a good place when he was there and, and things of that nature. But now he locked in and he he's him. So we're going to get to it. But if y'all want to support the grind, man, that information right there for y'all. Y'all see that screen at the bottom. Uh, it's in the description as well, man. Um, if you want to leave a super thanks, hit the like button. Look for icons over to the right. You'll see where it says thanks. Click that. Follow the instructions. You can support the grind that way, man. But y'all know what it is. We up out of here, and I'll catch y'all later, man. We out.